In this video, let us continue to solve problems uh, based on trigonometric ratios of allied angles. All right, so here we've got a problem which says prove that cos 510 degrees times cos 330 degrees plus sine 390 degrees into cos 120 degrees equals negative 1. Well, these problems are no different, no complicated from the previous ones. Except that you know you've got so many to find in just one problem. You just have to substitute in the place of them, do some basic mathematical operations, and then see what you get. And then you should get this number because it says prove that this is equal to this. So that's all that is uh, to do here. So let us solve this problem. So cos of 510 degrees, how are you going to write it? So cos of 510 degrees can be written as 90 times 5 plus 60. You can do the calculations cos of 90 times 3 plus 60 degrees plus sine of 90 times 4 plus 30 degrees and cos of 90 times 1 plus 30 degrees. Well, so 510 degrees lies in which quadrant? It lies in, you need to count the same thing. Use the quadrant thing. The number is 5 here, so leave the first quadrant. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Second quadrant. Second quadrant, sine is positive, not cos. So it's going to be minus. But since it's a 5 is an odd number, cos will change to sine. So it's sine 60 degrees. Minus sine 60 degrees. And here, 330 lies in the fourth quadrant. So fourth quadrant, cos is positive. And since the number is odd, that is 3, cos is going to change to sine. So it's going to become sine 60 degrees plus 390 lies beyond the fourth quadrant one two three four fifth quadrant it lies in otherwise another way of calculating it is you know the number is four here leave the first quadrant from the second quadrant count one two three four so it lies in the first quadrant 390 lies in the first quadrant first quadrant all are positive and the number is even so the positive sign and sign doesn't change as well so it's sign 30 degrees and 120 lies in the second quadrant. Second quadrant sine is positive, cos is negative, so it's going to be minus. Now, since the number is odd, cos is going to change to sine, so minus sine 30 degrees. So, minus sine 60 is minus root 3 by 2 times sine 60 again, root 3 by 2, plus sine 30 is 1 by 2, and minus sine 30 is minus 1 by 2, so which is equal to minus root 3 into root 3 is minus 3 divided by 4 it's going to be negative because 1 into minus 1 is minus 1 divided by 4 so a 3 fourth in the quarter makes it 1 or uh, going according to mathematically it's going to be minus 4 by 4 which is equal to minus 1 and hence proved so we proved that cos 510 degrees times cos 330 degrees plus sine 390 degrees into cos 120 degrees equal to negative 1 it is equal to negative 1 so that's that. So that ends this problem as well as this video. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with a little more advanced problem based on trigonometric ratios of allied angles.